guys, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolve! We are playing on my server, and I am joined by Misaligned. Hey! Hello! Hey, how's it going? Uh, we have a bit of a problem right now. You might be able to see flying over there, walking on the floor there, and walking on the floor there. We are surrounded by what I'm calling Pelicanitis. Uh, <laughs> so we, we got ourselves a little bit of a problem. Thankfully, both of us, we've been away a little while, and I need food. Do you need food? Yeah, I need food. Right, so I, I feel like there is a way of solving two of our issues here. Maybe. We are notoriously bad at this. There's one on the floor over there. I'm just going to go run and have him. I'm just, I'm just going to have a go. I'm just going to have a go. Okay, all right. Now we... we uh, oh, it's the Ichthyosaurus. This, this, this. And he had my water skin. Oh, that's that's Aww. bad, Joe. That's bad. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I want my bow. How did that not get him? You got him? Oh, Trish is in. Trish is in for fights. Okay, go Trish, go. If you could do that, that would be great. I'm also uh, going to kill this dodo and get some meat on because I'm actually... In the process of starving, and that's not good. Um, Trish, please. Did, did Trish get it? I just pushed him off the edge. Uh, that's no good. <laughs> it turns out we're going to have a bad times now. Hit it. Ah, I cannot hit it. Can you shoot this guy over my shoulder? Is that a possibility? I am not sure. Hello? Uh, I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> no. He dropped my weapon. I dropped my weapon. He gads. I, I shouldn't have done this. This is a bad times. We should have just run away and never come back. Uh, missed him. That's a stone arrow gone. Oh, I've lost loads. I just can't get a hit. Was that you or me that got him then? That was good. He's oh. only one, one or two hits down now. Looks like he's eating our stuff to be strong though. That's uh, that's a shame. Those arrow, that arrow really did Where's do he some gone? damage. Oh, Trish, don't get in the way. I'm gonna hit you. You having trouble with Trish? Oh, I may have just... My narcos! How dare you? How dare you? Hopefully, thankfully, I don't have too much on it. Did it die? Did it die? No, it's still flying around. If I just keep going back and forth, maybe we'll get it eventually. Uh, I got him in the wing. That wasn't good enough, but I got him in the wing. Oh, he stole my water skin. Yep, having troubles here. Trish, seriously, not the best. Ah, uh, trying to lead my target, but I'm about to run out of arrows. About to run out of arrows badly. Come on, just come close to me and I'll stab you. Yeah, you reckon that's the plan? Stab it. Oh, I nearly walked off the edge there. Yeah, we need to get back over towards these boxes. We're getting closer and closer to the edge. It's bad, Joe. Where's he gone? I don't know. Are you back? Oh, he hit me. Okay, cool. He is definitely healing off our stuff. Has he run away? I've lost the music. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any music either. No, as in, like, I've lost the battle. Oh, oh I'm, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Help. Why did we put these boxes here? This is rubbish. This is terrible. Okay, cool. Uh, he's still at us. He's still at us. I need to go back and get my weapon. That's one in the face, maybe. Two in the face, maybe. I don't know. Now just got to wait. Oh, that was over his head. Okay, I'm out of here. You out of here? Yep. What a great start. What a great start. <laughs> Can you see? I just see the Bronto. No T-Rex at all. I think you're overly paranoid. Anyway, we have made it back to base. Uh, we ran away, we came back. It seems to have solved our ichthy problem, though we have picked up a new issue. Uh, for those of you that may or may not be aware, there was a dinosaur stood right here when we left. Trish has gone a missing. Uh, not sure where she's at. I've got a feeling she's been washed down the beach or something like that. So let's, let's have a quick scout around and see what's going on over here. If you want to go and check out the hut, see if Locri's alright, I can just about make out his name, so I think you're all good. Yeah, I can see the name as well. Swim, Yay, swim. no celebration, just yeah. Swim. Yeah, we can see him. Um, down this way, I do not see Trish treading water anywhere, but it's oh. hard for me to look over the edge. I might even just do a jump. Yeah, I really cannot see over the edge at all. Uh, so I'm going to have to go and have a walk down. Do we see any T-Rex over this edge? This is the main problem, is over this way can be... I see be. some Ichthys though, they are... Whereabouts? Give us a direction. Sun is rising in... Oh, where's the sun? Just outside our base, so Just we've got outside. the second rock. Hi, see I'm over here. over here. Let's see where's I, I see some Pteranodons? Yeah, I see a bunch of Pteranodons, but no Ichthys. Oh, so from the distance they look like Ichthys, yeah. sorry. Th things with wings. It's hard to tell them apart. 
It's hard to tell them apart. All right, I'm going down onto the beach. Now, not next, last time, normally last time, whatever I want to say, this place was crawling with T-Rexes. So I'm going to have to be a little bit cautious here. I saw something off in the corner. Oh, look, Ankylos, Ankylosaurus. Nice. Uh, so the route that you're taking, be aware, because that's where I got attacked by ants and stuff. Uh, okay, Meganurian. That, that's fine. That's fine. I, I think I can deal with them. I, I say that. I thought I could deal with the Ichthy, but uh, that, that didn't go well. Uh, over this way, did I see a T-Rex just kind of, yeah, over there stomping about. She seems to be stood still, whoever it is. Hi. It's not. It's a Paki, and over there we've got a Gallimimus as well. These are not the creatures I was looking for. Uh, maybe down at the base of the... Base of the waterfall might be worth a try. You never know. You got any ideas where else she might have gone? No, see, now I thought she'd have fallen off and be in the waterfall, but that does take you back down to the beach where we had the problem with the T Rex. Yes, in... the one that killed the Stego. Yeah, indeed, just round this uh, this little rock outcrop here. But I'm gonna I'm gonna have a swim around, gonna see what's going down. Thankfully, the swim mechanics aren't as broken in this game as in GTA, so uh, we should be able to just swim around pretty nice. Um, at the base of the waterfall, I don't see her so far, but there is a little bit of an inlet. What's the button to go down? Oh, you just look down. Okay, that that's fine. That's fine. Uh, not seeing her anywhere, though. This is a little bit of a shame. Hmm. No, she's not here. No? Oh. Can you whistle her? No, I, I need to be able to look at her to whistle. This oh, is the unfortunate okay. part. Putting in a bunch of berries in his infantry. Do I have to? Feed? I see Trish. I see Trish. Oh yeah. Okay. So I've started swimming around. I'm, I'm at really having trouble getting up. I'm trying. I'm trying. Get on the rock. <sighs> oh man. Okay. So it turns out if you swim to, I, I am. I am getting air. I'm getting air. Stop telling me that I'm not. Hey Trish. How's it going? So I went round the base of the cliff a little bit further. Um, and now I am in big troubles. Towards Stego Beach. Towards Stego Beach, yeah, that's that's the way to call it. Um, but man, I mean, Trish, please, I need to ride you. Look, tell me I can get on your back. Uh, oh, okay, that's cool. Is Trish now going to drown? Is this a, is this a thing? Uh, Trish has a lot more stamina than I have. Okay, that's cool. There's a dodo down there. Um, I'm going to go for Stego Beach, despite the fact that I've got a feeling that I'm probably going to kill Trish like this. Uh, if all else fails, me and Trish are going to make a run for back the way we came. Okay. I'm currently looking down on Stego Beach. You're currently looking down, right? Yeah. Things cool. look safe? Things look relatively safe. There's a trike over there. Um, I don't see Sunny. Uh, Decipher's D-Rex. D-Rex. Yeah. Well, <laughs> um, Decipher's T-Rex. But, man, there are many, many trike here. Yeah. There's two down there having a bit of a fight. Uh, they were trying I, to push I'm each starving. Other in the water. I'm, oh, I'm starving. This is this is bad, Joe. Uh, let, let me go around and grab berries. I can run down and give you half of my meat, but that might not help. It takes me a while to get down there. I've got to stop just pressing E on berries and uh, managing to eat half my narcos. It's, <laughs> it's really bad. I keep hard knocking myself out. All right, Cole and Trish, let's go. So it's looking fairly chill here. There's a couple of Diflosaurs, there's a Bronto, but nothing really that looks like it's going to take me out. So I'm just going to have a nice chill ride back. Oh, hey, how's it going If there? you stop a minute, I'll put half of my meat in Trish. Yeah, that would be a great idea. Let me jump off because you won't be able to access your inventory house. Wow, it's four half of your meat. Yeah. Okay, we need to do something about that. Uh, so, to our left, right now, there's a couple of Diflos. I'm going to go um, hunt them for food, like the traditional peoples of this land. Oh, yeah, I see them. They're hiding behind the bushes. Hopefully, I can get them before they get me. All right, that, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Have I got any more coming in for me? I can't. I don't see it. Oh, yeah, here he comes. Yep, <laughs> you got it. Have I got it? What? No, no I've got nothing. I can't see anything. I'm green. <laughs> Assume nothing. <laughs> Especially my competency. There's another one coming in. My boots broke. Did we get it? Did I, I kill got the one. Is there another one running around? I, uh, I don't know. You, you kind of made out like there was, but I'm not sure now. Uh, no. <laughs> this leaf kept on blow brushing over my head, making me think it was the Bronto tail, and I was <laughs> super cautious about not hitting the Bronto. <laughs> I think after 
40 minutes of running around getting food and not really progressing. We should go and uh, build some more on this base. There's an ick near. There's, There's two. There's worse than that, yeah. Two of them but up by the waterfall. But I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. Uh, we've got this base over here that we're working on. We want to try and stick a second floor on it, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah. So if I open this up and grab these. Was... Uh, did we make any ceilings? Ceilings are the bits. Maybe we're that's what I'm gonna have a look in the box for, because we had a box of stuff that we'd pre-made. Okay, yeah, that that would be cool. So the box is over there by where we kept Trish. We should have a whole bunch of stuff, as you say. Uh, I'm just gonna go round and put these window panels in up top, and of course, tab is not the button for your inventory. Just a personal reminder out there for everyone involved. That's it's the worst. It opens up opens up this console and everyone's just like no that's not what i wanted why would you do this to me <laughs> uh now i think i want to put in uh the little porchway here so that's going to be cool let's throw this one down here i'm wondering how many we're going to be short of because we are definitely going to be short definitely going to be short but hopefully with trish to back us up we should be able to go and get all the stuff we need oh i need to get onto that back edge now so let's try and run around and see if we can get this built up. You doing all right over there? I heard a noise of panic. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, I accidentally set myself on fire. Oh, nice. Okay, it's always good. You know, when you're trying to keep warm and then your shoes melt and next thing you know you're on fire. Uh, please don't come for me. Uh, so what have we got here? What have you got here? I've got... Yes? Four fence foundations. Oh. A door frame. Thatch wall. There's three thatch walls actually. A sloped wood wall to the left. Yeah. Sloped wall, sloped wood wall to the right, and a wooden roof structure. So, so no. We need the slope, two sloped walls. Is there a sloped roof, or was there just a roof? Mm, no, uh, sloped wooden roof. Slope. So bring the sloped walls, the sloped roof. Uh, no ceilings. I didn't hear. No ceilings. Sorry, that that list went on quite quite a time. Uh, I didn't. I didn't. I kind of lost track by the time you finished. Uh, we need this and uh, these being solid walls uh, there is a window hatch that's nice and a door but no door frame what do I need for the door frame there was there a door frame in there yes there is a door frame in there can you bring that as well and I'm just gonna stand on Trish and wait for you to arrive it takes so long to get in the boxes there, I, so I saw in my extended options, I was in there having a bit of a play around whilst uh, waiting for your game to load. Uh, I saw in the extended options that you can turn off the menu transition animations, which will like, stop it taking so long to get into boxes. Okay. Oh, look at that. Didn't take long. T-Rex boy's back. Ah, oh, and those Ickneys are right in my path. Maybe we can solve two birds with one stone. <laughs> solve two birds with one stone. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe somehow we could lure the T-Rex into the X no that sounds like a bad plan <laughs> alright you got that door for no over yeah. here over to the building I'm just looking around yeah but there's uh, Ignis over there so I thought if I came and stood over here for a minute ah uh, yeah I get you uh, I get you well, here a back door here this, yeah back door this might even be the front door depends which way we end up using more often uh, I think I saw in my inventory that I've got three blank walls are these three blank walls or are they actually yeah okay cool ah it's not wooden that's all right, is it? Is it thatch? No. Yeah, it's thatch. We don't want that. No, but we can upgrade somehow by building it. That's cool. That's cool. It puts it in place. That's that's the main thing. It puts it in place. So now you want the two sloped walls. You see over this side, we've got this little sloped area. You basically want to copy this over here. There we go. Right. right that's one bit in place. And you've got the other one on the other side. All right. Yep. There we go. That's better. Cool, sloped wall on top, and I believe I left the door inside Trish. Let's go and, let's go and grab that while you place the roof down. Uh, so we need, looking at it, three more walls and a bunch of ceilings. This is not what I wanted to do. Trish, why, why did you force me onto your back? What's going on with that? Yeah, I, I'd like I have to no idea. make this into a, a wooden door as well. I don't like the thatch. Okay, well, you, you do that just by making a wooden door, so that, that's pretty cool. Our door frame. Well, yeah, door frame doors. I mean, these things are all, all subjective, really, you know. Uh, so let's open up my inventory again, not with tab, but with the I button. Uh, press six and pop that in there. Okay, cool. So we need two 
wall slash windows. We're probably going to go with the windows. Two windows and a bunch of ceilings. I believe nine of them. Okay, so that's all the equipment gathered up. Should be pretty cool. We've got a uh, window there and a window over here. I quite dislike the fact that I got my slingshot out. That makes it quite scary. Inside here, let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, we got the rooms on the go here. Go away, Ichthy. Oh my gosh. Is that, is that really just above my head there? Uh, let's see if we can put up some... No, he's actually after me. I hear the music. Let's put that <laughs> there. Oh, oh, I'm going to have to run away again. But the ceilings are going in place pretty well. I'm going to make a nice little enclosed space here so that we can start getting things like a metal foundry on the go, which sounds like a good idea and what we need. Can you remember how much metal we've got? Uh, no, I don't, I'm afraid. No, I've seen little bits in the box, but I was fairly sure we did have like a large hall somewhere. Okay, now that I'm actually being chased by the Ichthy, I'm going to come and uh, find you and help you cut down some wood because man I don't want I don't want to have trouble with them is it is he attacking the, the building no he's just going around in circles all right that's cool uh, what we need to do is build ourselves like four storage boxes a workbench and a few smelters okay let's start with the storage boxes then I will make the Furnace. Is it furnace? Furnace? No, it's not furnace. Uh, is is it smelter? No, but we do have the smithy. The smithy was the workbench I was thinking about. It's not quite what I'm after. Forge? Refining forge. There we go. That's what we want. Level 20 also will have a bunch of other stuff that we want to take. Uh, so if I scroll down to level 20, uh, we've got the refining forge, the smithy, the metal picks, the metal hatchet. These are the four that I have taken from there because they're going to be very useful. Uh, now I want to make a refining forge out of everything. That is the thing that I want to make first. Grab the whole load of stuff there. Uh, where is it? Okay, I can only make one. That's annoying. That's annoying. What am I missing for the next one? Let's wait and have a look. We need more stone and more hide. Now, thankfully, we got hide. Wow! Level in my ear. Do you... Man, that's loud. Let me let me turn my, my entire game sounds down. Do you want to build yourself a... A forge? A forge, yep. Yeah. Grass is growing through the bottom of the hut. Grass is growing through that. Uh, there might be a way of dealing with that. I'm not sure. I, I hope so. Anyway, I hope so. So, hey, how's it going in here? So, I'm reckoning we get have most of our storage along this back wall here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, because there's no windows. Yeah. Um, maybe have the forging stuff along this one. Like, we'll have the storage with the smithy coming off here, and then refining forge next to the smithy. How does that strike you? Okay, so I've got them in my inventory. Oh, <laughs> drink, drink. Just gonna have a drink. That's a good shout. So we want to put them this way around. Yeah, we want them so they are like long ways here, like like racks in a library, you know. Okay. This did did is... you not like my analogy? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> this is the fun part, trying to get it to sit in the right place. Yeah. You Can probably want to face drink? this way again, so it goes long this way. Oh wait, neither of us made the smithy yet, have we? No. Oh. Uh, just made the forge. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see what we need for la smithy. Hide metal. Okay, so the forge needs to go down somewhere. Now I think the the the, the smithy is going to come out to about here. So I'm going to put my refining forge about here. Hi, you come and got in my face. You got in my face. You got something to say? Do we want to put it in this corner then? Then we'll build the smithy off of that. No, because then we can't get to the, the, the stuff. Okay, I'm just going to put this one here. Like that. That looks pretty good. Uh, do we have any metal? This so is where the do you want mine to go? Sorry? We're going to hold on to it for now until we get the rest of the stuff down because we're probably going to end up breaking this one. When the, when the smithy gets put in place, we'll break that one and, and move stuff in. Uh, speaking of, do you want to come with me and help empty out all the boxes and move them in? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to put the spare forge in this box so I'm not carrying it around. Okay. So, sun is on its way up and we have been a busy overnight. Inside here we've made ourselves a few storage chests and the refining forge. That, that's the one I'm thinking of. It. Oh, you've disappeared. There you are, behind me. Hi. Hi. That's, that's not a crouch button. This is a crouch button. I keep, I keep nearly hitting you when, when I try to crouch in front of you. So over here, for people that are interested, we have wood in this one, thatch and fibre in this one, stones and metal, uh, hide, keratin, 
animal skin if you will and then over here a few random things that we've collected up over time the next thing is to work on the smithy yeah yeah what's missing for the smithy Ooh. metal metal indeed metal so i think we keep most of it in this oh no not this one the stone one right uh, down here, yeah, 81 bits, that's pretty good. I'm gonna just like shove it into this refining forge over here. Uh, do you want to grab some wood as I forgot to get like burnable materials? It's that kind of one the one thing we're missing. Uh, how much you got? A hundred. A hundred, sounds good. Cool, do it. Ah, got the fire lit? Light that fire. Alright, cool. Now slowly over time, and I'm actually not sure how long it takes or what the wood to ore ratio is, or even the ore to uh, bar ratio. So let, let's, let's watch this. We've got 81 here. I'd be interested to see how many come out the other side and how many we're left with. So I'm just, I'm just going to sit here for a bit and see what happens. Oh, look, already. Like, literally, as I said, see what happens. It happened. Uh, so, 79. That's two per bar. So, we're going to end up with 40 bars. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. And a single bit of ore left over. So, that, that should be cool. Um, we need some other stuff for the smithy, though. Uh, that, that should be everything that we have in the box. If I have a look inside my inventory, crafting, somewhere down below, we've got the smithy. Uh, hide, metal, stone, and wood. Nice and easy, really. Let me go all of those. Alright, smithy has been made, that's a little weird, it said it needed five, I grabbed five and it's given me one left over. Hmm, okay, interesting. So the smithy is just going to kind of sit right next to this, it's obstructed, that's a little, oh, you're in my way, excuse oh, me please. <laughs> I'm there trying to position myself, I'm like, why can't I even get where I want to be? Uh, right, so we want to put this kind of, it's, it's still saying obstructed, is that good? Is that where we want it? Can we get any closer? I can't see my... my uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? My outline, my blueprint, whatever this is called. Uh, I want to kind of get it close to the wall. Okay, that's probably as close to the wall as we can get. That seems to be the problem that we're having there. And if I keep going sideways, that just seems so far stuck out. Yeah, look at this. Is it because there's a window there? I don't know. I don't know. No, there's not a window back there. I just yeah. couldn't get it any closer. Oh, is there? Oh. No. But no, that shouldn't matter. That shouldn't matter. Anyway, we made the smithy because we wanted to make a few things. Uh, oh, oh, oh I'm me? sorry. Once again, that was the button I was looking for. Ah, I got to stop crouching in front of you. Uh, all right. Anyway, um, that is quite the blood stain I did from just a single punch, though. Anyway. We wanted the, 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 the tools and stuff. So let's have a look in here, see how much iron we've got. There's only like six bits of iron, but I think we should be all right. Wow, that, that went a little bit weird just then. If I pop the iron, a few bits of wood, and some hide in there, that, that's bound to be pretty good. Uh, we actually need more hide and more wood to do all of these. But you had something else you wanted to make? A wall torch or something like that? Oh, yeah. That, that. It got, it got rather dark in here at night, so we need some ways of lighting the area up. Unfortunately, this does mean we're also going to be war uh, eating through our stone and wood supply. No, wood and thatch supply, because they're burnable items. But that should be A-OK. -okay. As long as we remember to like turn them off. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, that thing that we always do with campfires. Are we going to make tools and weapons first, as that's more useful than the wall torches? You reckon? Okay, yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. But I do agree, it would probably be more useful. Uh, the problem is only night time, so that's a thing. Uh, we need uh, more hide, more wood in here. I can grab the wood. Do you want to grab the hide? Uh, maybe like a stack of it and just drop it in there for future use. Probably going to be the way that we do this. Okay, definitely in short of hide. Uh, have you taken the engrams for those tools? Yes. Uh, I cool. believe so. So which one do you want? Axe or, or pickaxe? As we seem to be a little bit limited on what we need. Right. Wow. Okay. Um, so look at this. To get to make the, the, the axe, you need eight metal ingots as opposed to the pickaxe, which you only need one. That's cray. Like proper cray. We should be aiming for a an axe each because we need wood, right? Yeah. I would like to make my own. My own. Yeah. Go for it. That's, yeah, that's, that's why it's there. That's, that's why I was asking if you had the engrams. You need to do it in the smithy, though. Oh, yeah, no, I'm just trying to check whether I've got the engrams. Uh, if you open the smithy and you've got the recipes here, or in a folder, because I turned my folder view off. Um, incidentally, for people that want to know how to do that, if you are staring at this weapons folder and you want to get rid of it, just click this folder view up here, and that will uh, show you all the things that you can make. Same happens over here in the crafting bit, but it, it doesn't quite work out as you would expect it to. You can see it's all, all there. Uh, I, w I would want it in my inventory, but still, that's that's different. 
Uh, now, I'm also going to make an axe, and we are one metal ingot short of doing a pickaxe as well, so let's just grab those. Nice, double double ingots, I like it, and we'll get that one. Uh, I'm going to swap them out for my primitive stuff, because ew, who, who wants to use stone tools nowadays? Really, honestly, what what is that about? Uh, where are we going to put them? I think I'm just going to throw them away outside and let them despawn. I'll just put them in this last chest with the... Yeah, that, that was the thing I didn't want to do, because those chests do actually have limited storage. I know it doesn't quite seem like it for now, but uh, we will hit it eventually. So with the advent of metal tools, there's a few other things I'm going to want, like the pike and the crossbow. I should imagine you're going to want these things as well. Uh, they're at level 25. Uh, and I'm also trying to see where the metal armor is, but I've got a feeling... No, those are ghillie suits. I've got a feeling it's a much further on. Level 37, that looks like it might be. So that's a, a little way ahead. Now these require more metal. 10 per pike. Ow. And 7 for the crossbow. But that's pretty good. I like those. I like those a lot. Do you have the metal for your tools yet? We're not going to have enough metal for each of us to have a pick. We can have enough for both of us to have a cross crossbow. Which I think is probably a good idea. So we just go out metal hunting? We could just go... Hey. We could just go out metal hunting, yes, indeed. Uh, talking of metal hunting, if you have a look over here, this of a... You see these sort of rounded boulders in the water? They've got little flecks of white on them? Yep. I think... Yeah, they got little bits of metal in them, so you can come along and just break these up. Uh, brilliant. Mad Frank told me about that one. So, after going around and completely emptying out this river of boulders, I have ended up with a whopping... Let's open my inventory here. 36 bit of bits of raw iron. What about you? Uh, let's have a look. Indeed, let's have a look. 38. 38, that's good. There's more under the water, actually. There's a lot more under the water. Uh, I thought we'd gone around and got them all, but it turns out, nope, no, not even close. So, yeah, more to be had, but I am so close to being over covered and then not being able to swim and drowning that I think I'm going to go back and put this in the furnace. All right, I've got my two uh, weapons underway, a pike, pal, and a crossbow. That's nice and easy. Okay, cool. Is this to say, uh, clear the queue by clicking that one right there? That's that's interesting to know. So I'm going to drag my pike onto my bar, drag my crossbow onto my bar. It can keep an arrow. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. And pop in here up my two old things. I see... Oh, no. I see you've also done that. That's a good plan. So we've got, like, 15 spears <laughs> together. <laughs> it's because the Yikis kept taking them, so I always had a lot in my inventory. Uh, that's good shout. That's good shout. And you'll notice that the crossbow actually takes the same arrows that your bow and arrow did, which is all types of wrong. Like, arrows are long, bolts are short. There's there's all reasons why we shouldn't be able to use these interchangeably. But, thankfully, the, the devs of uh, Ark don't know that, so that's great. Uh, and I think... With that, I would like to point out exactly how well we've done here today. We've built ourselves a shelter to do amazing things. We've got our storage set up. We've started on the Metal Age. I mean, like, how good is that Metal Age? Yep. 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 Hype. <laughs> uh, and with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time where we're going to take advantage of our new level of technology. We're going to go out and we're going to actually try and take over some dinosaurs without letting them die to a T-Rex. <laughs> But we'll see you then when we're going to do that.